ledger lines. Let's say we want to play higher or lower notes than what the bass and treble staff cater for. How will we achieve this? Where will we replace these notes? After all, there are many more notes on a musical instrument than the few notes we looked at earlier. To accomplish this, ledger lines are used. L-E-D-G-E-R lines, also spelled L-E-G-E-R, are short lines placed above and below the staff. They are used to help us extend beyond the range of the staff. Ledger lines A, B, C, D, E, F. C, B, A, G, F, E. C, D, E, F, G, A. E, D, C, B, A, G. Let's take the treble clef for example. The notes on the lines of this clef are E, G, B, D, F. And the notes of its spaces are F, A, C, E. When we combine these notes, we get E, F, G, a, B, C, D, E, F. The note after the fifth line of the treble clef is G. To add the note after G, which is A, we need a ledger line. The first ledger line is A. The note after A is B. We need another ledger line to add the note after B. So the second ledger line is C. The third ledger line is E. These three ledger lines spell the word ACE. That's A, C, E. This makes it easy to remember. Notes can keep going higher and higher on the treble staff by simply moving in alphabetical order. Notes go lower as well, as can be seen in the ledger lines diagram. The treble and bass clefs are often combined to create a grand staff. A perpendicular line and bracket called a brace is used to join the two staves, plural for staff, together. The note in the center of the grand staff on a ledger line is middle C. On piano, middle C is the centermost C. It is near the middle of the keyboard. The three ledger lines below the bass clef spell the word ACE as well in ascending order. That's A C E. We can keep adding ledger lines below the note A for notes which are much lower. Ledger lines can be placed above the bass clef as well. The notes simply move in alphabetical order. The note of the fifth line of the bass clef is A. 
the note after A is B, then C, or middle C. Middle C, as we've seen, is on a ledger line. The note after middle C is D. D must be placed above this first ledger line. But if we need to add the note after D, which is E, we would need another ledger line. This would give us two ledger lines. Then the note after E is F. The note G would now be placed on yet another ledger line, giving us a total of three ledger lines.